project life cycle types. Uh, these are the types in which uh, there are three types, uh, predictive life cycle, iterative and increment, uh, incremental life cycle, that is the second and the third one is adaptive life cycle. In predictive life cycle, uh, again we, this is something which, uh, which is uh, uh, non-iterative in nature and uh, so it is not exactly non-iterative in nature. Some iterations will happen even in predictive life cycle but uh, Essentially, predictive life cycle, we'll see the example uh, in coming slide, is used uh, when you have the industry standard and practice already in place, you have sufficient knowledge of uh, uh, that industry uh, and that uh, kind of product in place. Uh, so the scope is very clear and all that uh, time uh, you uh, do the predictive, you use the predictive life cycle. Iterative and uh, incremental life cycles are usually used for the complex projects and uh, hence uh, they uh, essentially uh, intentionally you repeat one or more project activities as the project team's understanding of the product increases. So that's what we do in iterative and incremental life cycle, uh, mainly used for the complex project. Uh, then the third one is adaptive life, life cycle. This is nothing but your agile uh, uh, method. So uh, uh, another name or change driven or agile method also known. So uh, agile is the name I think which is known to everyone. So in this, the it is similar to your iterative and incremental life cycle. Only thing is the in, the uh, iterations are very rapid. So uh, they are between two uh, around two to four weeks. In iterative, uh, iterative and incremental life cycle, uh, the iterations could be two to four months. So why we perform iterations? I think uh, software industry has uh, uh, picked up on these last two very well. So iterative and incremental, uh, what happens is you uh, develop. Yesterday we took example also. So this is what, uh, uh, you know, when you are doing, developing a product, you will develop, let's say you have uh, uh, some 20, 25 features to be developed. Maybe in first iteration you will develop uh, five uh, features, second iteration uh, five features and so on. Uh, not only that, but second iteration, this kind of life cycle, iterative and incremental life cycle also gives you idea of you know how the first five feature that were developed as a I, I, iterative life cycle, how they look, how they work and they can be further enhanced in subsequent li uh, life cycle. So uh, that's what iterative and incremental. So you do uh, next iteration you can improve on exist, uh, the features already developed in uh, first uh, iteration, right? And uh, also um, you can uh, take up new features. So that's the main essence of iterative and incremental. So in this case, uh, the, there is uh, the period is uh, around two to four months, whereas adaptive life cycle you have period of two to four weeks. So that's the uh, main difference between the two. Uh, again, uh, this is done for uh, uh, basically highly co large or complex projects. Uh, uh, this is done in order to reduce the risk and also. Uh, team is uh, team gets in uh, gets to incorporate feedback and lessons learned between the iterations. So that's the main advantage of iteration and incremental life cycle. So, okay, let's see the, the slides which will have further explanation. So this is example of a predictive life cycle, in which case this is fully plan driven. So you have complete plan from end to end. Okay. Uh, this, as I said, uh, this life cycles are preferred when the product to be de developed is to be developed is uh, well understood. There is a substantial base of industry practice, so this, that's when you do it. And uh, if the product that we are developing, uh, it, when it is developed in full, then it makes sense uh, for the stakeholders involved, and then also we use this. So essentially this is a fully plan driven, does it mean that there is no uh, kind of uh, you know uh, uh, overlapping phases? 
in sequential no it, it can be either a series of sequential or overlapping cases you can see there is some uh, overlapping uh, in almost in you know every phases that is shown over here yeah so that's about uh, predictive life cycle so you have project definition uh, leading to feasibility study leading to system analysis leading to system design every phase will have some kind of input given back to the previous case. So this is what fully plan driven <laughs> predictive life cycle we do. Simple one. Then iterative in these types of project life cycle the project phases also called iterations intentionally repeat one or more project activities as the project team's understanding of the product increases. Iteration develops the project product through a series of repeated cycle while increment incrementally uh, while it increments successively add to the so increments are added successively to the functionality of the product so you can add you just you know, in an incremental fashion iteration may be performed in a sequentially or overlapping fashion future iterations may enhance either deliverable or may create new ones Iterative and incremental life cycles are usually preferred in organization where managing changing objectives, scope, complexity is needed when partial delivery of a product is beneficial and provides value. So in case of uh, uh, predictive or fully plan driven, we partial delivery of product doesn't provide any value. You need to have full product, whereas in case of iterative, partial delivery of a product has a benefit it is beneficial and provides the value so often large and complex project are executed in iterative fashion to reduce risk by allowing the team to incorporate feedback and lessons learned between uh, iterations so coming to the last uh, the third one adaptive life cycle also known as change driven or agile methods they intend to respond to high level of changes and ongoing stakeholder. So uh, in this adaptive life cycle, the scope is not at all clear and uh, there, there will be high level of changes. So and very high level of engagement is there of stakeholder uh, with the project. They are also iterative and incremental, but the difference here is that iterations are rapid, two to four weeks and fixed in time and cost. So, uh, product backlog here the overall project scope is decomposed into set of requirements and work to be performed so product backlog is whatever work is remaining is usually so uh, all the work uh, uh, all the requirements and work to be performed uh, is what called as product backlog and that and the status for product backlog gets updated uh, with each and every iteration this adaptive method is preferred when requirements and scope are difficult to define I think yeah in advance or when the project is dealing with rapidly changing environment so there, these are the two reasons why we I, I believe uh, nowadays uh, agile is uh, you know uh, getting a lot of traction uh, for obvious reason in case uh, so these are the two factors which will help you decide whether uh, which one uh, whether you should go for adaptive life cycle or or when it is possible to define small incremental improvements that will deliver value to stakeholders. In here, the good part is there is ongoing stakeholder involvement, which uh, which ensures that there is a immediate feedback, and you don't have to work, wait for two to four months. Uh, in case of you know iterative, that is what is happening, and you get the immediate feedback. So that's the uh, one of the advantage. All right. Uh, <laughs> so that's about uh, the three life cycles: uh, plan-driven or predictive, iterative and incremental, and the third one is adaptive or uh, change-driven or agile method.